pretty sure we're almost there. <sighs> Something just doesn't feel right about this whole thing. Yeah, I'm just not sure about this. Well, look. We already signed up, and there's no point in turning back now. Plus, it's a pretty simple job, considering the fact that I'm trying to save up for a new... Yeah, for a new whip. We know. Didn't mean to flex how much more money I have. <laughs> huh? You and your whopping bank account total of $5,000? Yeah, okay. 5000 more than you're rolling with. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Me and you both know, bro. Oh, can you guys shut up already? I think that's the place. <laughs> Yikes, looks like Todd's house. This place really did go downhill. Huh. Guess so. It's not even that bad here. Hello! Welcome to your first night. I'd like to congratulate you on the behalf of Tony's Tacos on earning your position here as security personnel. We know it's a big deal, so don't worry. We'll make sure you're equipped with the right tools necessary to complete this job. So with that being said, let's get you acquainted. First of all, in your office there are two important things to know. Number one, your computer, or otherwise known as your security camera. Tapping the security camera allows you to access your security cameras throughout the facility. I do want to tell you though that these security cameras do not cover every inch. I mean, there are plenty of blind spots. Two important blind spots actually lie right outside your doors. This means that you won't be able to see outside of your doors if they are closed. Now, this brings us to our next important piece of discussion. Your black door. These were are working a job which has its risks. Is your priority. Now, these black doors aren't anything to play with. They're not toys. They are highly dangerous if you stand underneath them. They will close on anything, so anything that's standing in its way, you can say goodbye to it. It's also critical to realize that these two doors, when closed, put an extreme amount of strain on our only two working generators. So if you don't plan to run out of power and keep the lights on, then keep those doors open. Now one at a time works, but two at a time is too much for a generator to handle. So Do about it? Yeah, you can. We trained you on how to repair them, so let me tell you where they're located. Within your office should be a newly installed flat screen TV, which displays a digital map of the entire restaurant. This is going to come in handy whenever you need to locate something. Now there should be alarm lights installed on that TV screen. These alarm lights will only enable whenever there's a malfunction or a shutdown of any sort. So if a generator were to accidentally break down at some point, an alarm light should go off telling you exactly where you need to go to fix it. Luckily for you, the only two generators which power this entire facility are located in the same area, the parts and service region. The third and only alarm light in the arcade actually corresponds to the ventilation system. Pretty much historic. I mean, they're antiques. So your ventilation system sucks. Sorry to break it to you, but you're gonna have to reset it every once in a while. Since all the doors are locked here, you're not gonna have an extra airflow of air anytime soon. Oh, and there's one more thing I forgot to mention within your office. Towards the south wall in the back part of your office should be a small stage. 
on this day should be an old and abandoned animatronic. Now, this is a relic from the old pizzeria. If you're not good with puppets or anything of that sort, then you can keep the curtain closed. I mean, if you don't want to see it, make sure it doesn't see you. Am I right? And that brings me to my next point. There are a variety of other abandoned animatronics left over from the other pizzeria lying around here. This includes the front stage, parts and service region, the warehouse, you name it, there's at least something that we can salvage there. 